Hello everyone, Tony, it's over, that's it, we're closing our channel. Why make educational and informative videos in a world where phones, computers, and other smart devices are constantly watching us and sending all our information to China? Or is it all just an absurd conspiracy theory? Hmm, let's find out. You've also heard stories about people who were chatting with a friend about something and then bang, their smartphone shows them an ad about that very thing. After hearing such stories, many people believe that tech giants are eavesdropping on all of us through our microphones. But is it true or not? Tony and I did an experiment together to find out. We'll tell you all about the results at the end of the video, but in the meantime, let's try to explain all these amazing coincidences. First of all, internet services are very good at studying behavior patterns. For example, a former Google employee said in an article that Google has a digital avatar for each user. Using machine learning, this avatar tries to be just like you. At a certain point, it becomes so much like you that it begins to anticipate what you want. Of course, this is just a random statement, not supported by physical evidence. But it is true that artificial intelligence takes on new heights every day, and this option cannot be ruled out. Second you might be randomly turning on your voice assistant. You can say something very similar to, hey Siri, or okay Google, and the assistant will activate and then start listening to you, send the words to the server for recognition, and then offer the right ads. But trust me, no one listens to you all the time. Even a smart speaker is just waiting for you to address it. These devices have a small memory storage, a weak processor, and a special algorithm for recognition customized only for a particular word. This system works all the time, but does not consume internet traffic. Only when it hears the command, the device wakes up, connects to the server, and starts transmitting your words for recognition. The third explanation, user domains. For example, you and a friend discussed some new video game. He came home and decided to Google it, but you didn't. However, it is possible that after that you will also see ads for this game, just like he did. The fact is that internet services suspect that your accounts are somehow connected. You often go to the same place, use the same Wi-Fi network, or even log in from the same device. Such users are combined by search engines into domains and are shown the same products. We don't know if this is 100% true, however, but this possibility exists, and it would be logical to use it. Fourth, the service just guesses. Do you have any idea how many different kinds of ads you see in an hour of internet surfing? It's even hard to calculate. So, the search engine keeps offering you a variety of products and sometimes may randomly guess and show you something that you were discussing with a friend just the day before, after which you'll probably start panicking that your phone is listening to you without your permission. Meanwhile, other thousands of people who have seen the same ad will just scroll through it. And then there's the so-called frequency illusion also known as the Bader-Meinhof phenomenon. According to it, after learning something or noticing something for the first time, you stumble across it a lot more often than usual. But that's only because you are now aware of it. That is, you pay attention to those things that you have recently heard about. For example, a friend told you about some cool new sneakers, and then you stumble upon an ad for those exact sneakers. But how do you know the search engine hasn't been advertising them to you for weeks? It probably has been, but you haven't been paying attention. So friends, you're probably wondering how our experiment went, right? For several days, we talked about couches and made sure that our smartphones were present. However, we didn't see any ads for couches, but we did get a lot of ads for all sorts of other nonsense. But this was only one experiment. In order to make a definite conclusion, we need your help. Let's all try something similar for a while, and then share your results in the comments. Don't believe the rumors. Together, we can uncover the whole truth. So, tell us your opinion in the comments. Are tech companies listening to us or not? The best stories, as always, will make it to the next video. Leave a like if you found it interesting and subscribe, so you won't miss any future episodes of Super Tony. Bye-bye!